Hi everyone. Uh, so today uh, we I got a request to get the SharePoint site details uh, and its content in GB. So it was a very quick request, very simple one. So what we had to do it we had to just access the site Office 365 admin. We go to SharePoint and when we go to SharePoint, there's SharePoint admin center. And once we are in SharePoint Admin Center, we can see uh, all the sites that are there. We click on the export and uh, we can already see that this site uh, usage is in GB. So it is 0.26 GB, 0.23 GB in perfect. So I was able to extract this information for the user and give it to him. But uh, in, in, in one of my customer's case, this was a very huge site collection. He had somewhere around 10,000 sites. I don't know why it was 10,000 sites. So uh, this export was failing and was giving some error message. And I was like, uh, I think we'll we'll use PowerShell uh, to extract the report. But uh, for example, if I would have used the same report and I I tried to uh, I tried to open the CSV file that gets generated, I'm able to see proper data in uh, I'm able to see proper uh, site collections and their information and all the site information is in GB. So over here we can see it is in GB. However, when I tried to uh, run it for uh, the customer for 10,000 sites, uh, I thought I'll run a PowerShell that does not expire uh, too much. So I, I use this command. Uh, this is uh, this would be there in the uh, IT fee support article, which I'll attach to this uh, video. So I go at the bottom and I'm able to see that current storage, it is showing in KB. So this is actually not GBs. This is not even MBs. This is showing showing the site uh, size in KBs. And I was like, okay, what do I do to get this site's uh, size in GB? I tried various methods, but it did not help me out. Uh, after like a good amount of effort, I was able to get that information so what i did is i i ran this particular command and uh, at the end for the storage what i had to do is i had to write this name of the particular column uh, i had to give expression and in the expression i had to mention dollar underscore storage divided by 1024 which means this is going to divide it by 1024 uh, and this is going to tell me the exact size so let's try I run this command and now if I run this command I'm able to see the size of all my site collections in GB uh, wait a minute connection was closed oh I don't know uh, I was just now connected to this server uh, okay let's connect back that's okay should not be a problem okay i run this command again and now we are able to see all the sites in gb so this is the this is a size uh, of all the sites in gb and now uh, because i had to export this information uh, in a csv format i added below command so it's going to export to c drive temp site size as an whole thing uh, one minute I will have to move this at the end of the command and there we go uh, the file should be created by now if I go there I see that yeah the file is created and I click and open the file and it's taking a minute to open the file yeah there we go we have the same amount of data the same information but uh, in GB uh, over here and uh, that's how you would be able to export information or uh, site collection details in GB uh, using PowerShell. I have uh, a detailed article on how you can do that so feel free to feel free to uh, browse to my website itpsupport.com and the article is about Office 365 get all site size visit size in GB. That would be all for now.
Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.